folks hello everyone welcome to the draw along I'm in a new spot today um, and I'm very excited for it I hope you folks are too yes Halloween and Animal Crossing today for the draw along um, and I have created a cool little uh, file for you folks um, I should also probably introduce myself since those of you who are here today have probably never um, uh, seen me um, or if you've seen Adobe live, but only in this time lot You probably have never run into me before. My name is Voodoo Val um, and I am a digital painter an illustrator um, Sometimes moderator sometimes host here on Adobe live and I'm super pumped to be here uh, for this for this uh, This segment. What's up? What is up Robert and Matt and Biola Robert? Sam Peterson, it's good to see you. Um, I'm very excited. So I'm just gonna jump into it real quick um, because we do have a limited amount of time uh, for today and I want to get as much um, fun stuff created as I can. So I'm gonna jump over to my stream and you guys can see I have this file up that looks a little drab, looks a little boring, um, but we're gonna spice it up today. So the first thing that I'm gonna do with my little file that I have created is I'm going to change up the backgrounds and things and start assembling an Animal Crossing uh, head out of some of the pieces that I have drawn for you. Um, basically so that you folks can get like a real Animal Crossing look to what you are going to create with me today. Um, and then you can customize the hair and customize the colors and add any Halloween-y um, designs that you prefer uh, for your particular character on your own. So I am going to double click my background layer here and I'm gonna change my color to kind of a soft orange I think matches the Animal Crossing vibe I think I'm gonna go with like a like a light peachy kind of color I'm gonna say okay uh, and then I'm gonna open up I have a little file here that says Polaroid picture um, I'm gonna open up my folder and I am going to hide my assemble text instructions here. I just put a little spiel that says assemble the including shapes, included shapes um, to design your own character. Feel free to add your own ideas to your design and then color um, just to give you an idea of what we're doing. But I'm going to hide that for now. Um, and I'm also going to change the color of my background and center of my Polaroid uh, shape here. So I'm going to double click my rounded rectangle right quick. Uh, I'm gonna go to color overlay and I would like to change this to maybe a maybe a soft grayish blue uh, a soft grayish blue I think would be kind of nice just like that maybe maybe a little bit brighter uh, slightly darker like that okay uh, and I'm gonna hit okay and then I'm gonna double click this other rounded rectangle that I have going in here and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna do a color overlay and I'm going to make it just a little bit brighter maybe more close to a, uh, a, a, a white color there um, all right then I'm going to close my Polaroid picture here and I'm going to open the character building blocks file that I made for you folks um, and you can see there's a lot of different things in here it's, there's a folder that says heads one for eyes one for mouths one for noses um, and I'm going to come in here and select what I prefer for my character but please feel free to explore there's a few different head shapes in here there's there's about three head shapes um, I've got a kind of a wide head shape I've got a long head shape, I've got a rounded head shape. I'm gonna use the wide head shape for mine personally. Um, and I'm gonna drag this out of my folder here. And I'm gonna make my own group uh, right quick that will house all of the um, facial features and things that I choose for my character. So I'm gonna hit Control G and I'm gonna call this my character. So I've got my head in here. And I'm going to select it and I'm going to transform, free transform with control T just to kind of center my little head right in the center of my Polaroid there. I'm going to 
close this heads folder and I'm going to take a look at some eyes maybe. Um, so let's open up the eyes. Um, I think I probably will also change the color of my character's head so that I can see um, the drawings of eyes and things that I have created over the top of them. So let's double click that. Let's do the same thing we did with our, our um, Polaroid. Uh, let's do a color overlay and I'm going to select kind of a tan Kind of a tan color I think is cool um, or maybe a purple a purple would be fun um, actually I think I'm I think I'm gonna go directly for the purple I'm sure you guys are very surprised I like it I'm gonna make a purple character and I'll drag this underneath all of our cool little features here because then you can see all the little um, things that I've created so you guys can choose some some eyes from here if you like I've got a star eye which is our our Gulliver eye for any of you who are familiar with the game um, I personally I like the little rounded eye that just has a little lash on it um, and so I'm gonna use a collection of these shapes here I'm gonna grab my my lash eye and my my long eye here this one uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna select both of these and I'm gonna drag these down into the my character group um, and then I'll hide these eyes and I'm gonna come in here oh did I grab the right ones probably not let's see where did that uh, open my eyes there we go um, okay here we go let me close that I want long eye and lash eye there we go I'm gonna drag these down into the my character folder and then I will close the eyes and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this little lash eye I'm gonna drag it over make it a little bit smaller put it like right there I think is probably a good spot um, I'm gonna duplicate it with control J and drag it over like so right click it and flip it horizontal so I have my little my little lashes like so um, and then I'm gonna grab them both center them on my little face here and then I'll grab this long eye that I have this little cool nifty piece and if I just drag this and position it where I want in my eyes then I have like an Animal Crossing style eyeball if I want it I can duplicate that drag that over to my uh, to my other my other eye over here so I've got my eyes uh, which is pretty cool um, now we can open mouths we want. Um, I think I'm going to use, I've got like a wider mouth, a smaller mouth, and a cat mouth. Um, and I'm going to grab a small mouth, a small smile, because I like the small smile. Drag it to my character uh, thing here. And I'm going to hide all the mouths, except my small smile, and I'm going to make it a little bit tinier and position it where I like. I think I like it right there. Just a little tiny smile. And the last thing I want to grab before I start coloring um, is a nose. So let me grab real quick. I've got a bunch of different shapes for noses. Personally, I like the, the triangle nose. So I'm going to open my noses here and I'm going to look. Um, we got a square nose, a round nose, and an oval nose. So I'm going to hide the square and the oval nose. And I'm going to grab this triangle nose, bring it back into my character uh, folder here. And then I'm going to transform this and I've assembled a little Animal Crossing face! <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> I think it's adorable. I feel like it, it keeps with the kind of the Animal Crossing style. So I've got my Animal Crossing face made um, and I am going to start kind of designing around this. Now I've only put in like head shapes and pieces of faces so that you guys can get the Animal Crossing style look. Um, but I, I leave creating, um, you know, choosing colors, creating a hairstyle or a hat or anything like that to you to customize on your own. So I have got my little, my little face here. I'm going to close my building blocks and I'm going to drag this up to the top so that I can um, keep an eye on um, all of my little elements. And I think I'm actually going to drag my head shape out of my group because what I'd like to be able to do um, is close this, right click it, convert it to smart object. So then I have my head shape and I have my line art of my little, my cute little face all together. Um, and what I'm gonna do here to begin coloring is I'm going to first add a little hairdo to my character. So I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna grab my stylus. Uh, I think I will right click here or alt click here to sample purple and then maybe grab a darker purple color. 
um, because I love purple. Um, and I'm going to grab a, a, a textury brush that I like, and I'm going to start just kind of with a big brush. I'm just going to add some large kind of bangs shapes and give my character some bangs. Um, and then I'm going to come around with some hair like so. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. What I'm going to actually do here um, is take my eraser and start subtracting from this hair shape that I have created. Um, I like... Uh, just like a, like a little a little wavy do here. I think that's kind of cool. This is the hairstyle that I actually have um, on my Animal Crossing character <laughs> when I play Animal Crossing. Um, and so she has like little bangs and she has little bang cutouts here, which I'm going to add a little smoother. Let's add some of that, some of that. Give her some little tiny bang cutouts like so. Um, and I'm just going to clean up the edges like that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I, I like the side of the bangs that I've kind of added on this side. I'm going to, I'm going to clean those up. I'm just going to duplicate that part um, of what I'm working on and kind of drag it over. Uh, so I think maybe I'll, I'll take just a little bit more off the edge here. Maybe I'll add a, another little, like those little boop, boop, you know, more curls like so. Um, I think that looks looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, so I will kind of smooth that out like so. And then I'm going to, with my lasso tool, by hitting L on my keyboard, I'm going to lasso half of this, say Control J to duplicate it, Control T to free transform, flip it horizontal, and then I'm going to drag it over here and start connecting it like that. Boom. And I got like a little, a little hairdo, a little baby Animal Crossing hairdo, which I, I really like a lot. Um, I might actually, uh, now that I can see it uh, more thoroughly, I might actually just do the one little uh, bump of, uh, of curl here like that. I think that actually looks kind of cool. Um, and so I have her, her little bangs in. I've got her, her hair on the side. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add kind of a back portion to her, her hairdo. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to make a layer underneath um, my, my head here, um, like so. Make a new layer underneath. And I'm going to sample an even darker purple, and I'm just going to color in a little bit back here so that it looks like her hair kind of continues um, behind. And then another layer with Control shift in I'm going to sample this purple color and a slightly darker one because I'm going to add in a little a little neck for her like that. Just like that. How much time do we have left? We're, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good on time. Um, I just want to make sure that I get everything finished because I'm excited for all the details because this is not only is this going to be a purple Animal Crossing character, but it's going to be I think I think I got to make like a little purple uh, Frankenstein, I think is what's going to have to happen. Um, so definitely, definitely going to get spooky. Shauna, hello. It's so good to see you. I hope that you will make an Animal Crossing um, character with me today. Um, I'm going to I'm going to hold control and click um, on my hair layer because I am going to kind of extend this hair down just a little bit like that. Um, and that's fine. The bottom of it is a little is a little rough, um, but I'm not really worried about it because I'm going to use clipping masks again. Um, and I'm going to um, kind of make sure that the the whole of this character's head that I design um, fits within this little border of our Polaroid shape at the end. Um, so it doesn't really matter if it uh, if it needs some love around the edges here because none of that's really going to show. Um, but now that I have a little hairdo, I've got a neck, I've got my character face um, set up, I am going to actually go in with some clipping masks and add some color and shading to my character. So let's see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start adding some color between my, uh, my line art for my face um, and my head shape. So I'll make a new layer here with Control N or control shift in, excuse me. Um, and I'm gonna grab an orangey color because I think purple and orange look pretty darn cool together. And I'm gonna grab my shape tool and I'm gonna drag some little Animal Crossing blushies out in orange because I 
love I love this I love the Animal Crossing blushies they make me so happy um, so I'm just gonna drag some of these out I'll duplicate it oops I gotta place it first oops control T I'll place it where I want it then control J to duplicate and control T um, so that I can drag this over and place some little blushies in there um, and then I think I'll go in um, on a new layer with my brush um, and that same orange color and I think I'm going to color in my eyes orange because I like this little orange color I think I'll color in my nose orange as well um, and then maybe I'll grab a darker um, orangey color and I will kind of get a little side shade there on that on that triangle nose um, which I I like this I do like this a lot um, next I think what it needs is I'm going to actually change the color of my face line art to be um, like a dark purple so I'm going to make a new layer uh, and I'm just going to make this layer a clipping mask uh, if I can I will hold alt to sample some colors and I can just come in here with a textury um, brush and I can just draw um, right over the top and make this um, kind of a dark purple maybe a little lighter purple nah, nah, dark purple dark purple works works good so I've got my face I've got uh, some of my blushies in and now it's time to do a little bit of shading so I am going to select I've got a, a little um, noisy brush that I made um, and I am going to sample some you know dark some dark purple I think here maybe some some purple like right there um, and I'm gonna make sure that I am selected um, above my head shape here make a new layer make that a clipping mask like so and then I'm gonna come in and I am if I can let's see maybe a little bit darker here um, oh you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna rasterize this layer first there we go um, I am going to oops 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 I'm gonna come in here now and do um, more of a shading there we go so I'm gonna put some shading around the side of her face I'm gonna put some shading underneath her little bangs here because I think that would be cute um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to her eyes so let me find her eyes by holding control and clicking where I have her eyes colored in make a new layer set that to a clipping mask as well uh, and then I'm going to select actually a brighter color this time I think um, and I am going to just brighten the inside of her eyes like that. I think that looks kind of neat. Kind of adding my own style here um, to it. And we'll do the same thing with the hair. You know, just kind of systematically going through, creating a clipping mask above uh, portions of the work. Um, and then, let's see if we can make my brush bigger. And then um, just kind of shading nicely around on this just to kind of give it a little bit of depth which I think is super cool let's grab maybe a brighter color we can do maybe a, a very subtly brighter color and we'll do a little bloom of color on top of her head I like that I like it I like it there we go um, maybe maybe we'll get a little bit of dark back in there kind of blend it back and there we go I like it okay so we'll do that. Um, maybe we can even come up um, kind of with the shape of our uh, of our hair here. I think that actually looks pretty cool um, to give her some some hair. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to shade is um, the neck, and and uh, then we're going to add some little Frankenstein bolts to her neck because I think that that would be super cute. So I'll make a little a quick clipping mask above her neck. We'll grab um, a little bit of a dark color, do a little a little shading in the same manner. Like that. Um, all right, and now let's do let's add some let's add some little bolts. Um, so what I'm gonna do for this actually is I'm gonna grab my shape tool and I'm gonna grab a rounded rectangle. And I am going to drag out um, a little rectangle shape like so and I'm going to make sure my corners are not rounded so much maybe 15% um, and I'm going to change this color to maybe a, maybe a grayish blue color I'm thinking is is probably probably good maybe like that 
Um, and I am going to simply use this shape and keep duplicating it until I have kind of the, the Frankenstein-y shape that I'm going for. So I'm gonna drag this out like that. I'll duplicate it, make another one, turn it to the side and drag it out so I have little bolts like so. And then I'm just going to select both of these and I am going to convert them to smart objects or you can right click and you can rasterize it. It's really up to you and how you prefer to work. Um, I'm gonna put this down below her neck and then I'm going to duplicate it and drag it over after I flip it horizontal. So she's got two little bolts. Um, and then with both of these selected, I'm gonna just merge them with Control E, make a clipping mask over the top of this as well. Um, and then I'm going to put in some shading here. So let me grab my, my brush. I'm just gonna grab a kind of a darker color um, of this and I'm going to just add some little, some little shady shade areas. I, I'm pretty sure that's the, that's the common professional term for this sort of thing, shady shade. <laughs> if it's not, we need to make it happen. Add like a little bit of light on these just to make them look like they're, you know, little, little bolts, uh, which I think is, is pretty cool. There we go. Get some little bolts in there. So she's got her little Frankenstein bolts. And then the last thing I'm going to do um, before I merge this into my little um, por uh, kind of Polaroid view here is I'm gonna make a new layer on top of everything. I'm gonna grab my, my textury brush here that I've got. I'm gonna sample some of this dark purple and I'm gonna give her some little Frankenstein, uh, classic Frankenstein little uh, little stitches because I think that's probably necessary, I think. So she's got these, you know, these little, these little things and I think it's pretty spooky. I think she's adorable and awesome. Um, so I'm going to, with this whole um, kind of set of, uh, of things selected, I'm going to grab them all, I'm gonna group them I'm gonna right click and convert all of this to smart objects. So I have one layer with my little gal on here. Um, and then I'm gonna drag it into the Polaroid picture folder that I have and open that. I'm gonna place this directly over my rounded rectangle, right click and make this a clipping mask if I can. Hello. Oh, I'm gonna rasterize this as well. And then I'll make it a clipping mask. Not really working, but what we can do instead, um, because I don't have very much time to figure out what exactly I'm doing wrong, um, is I can instead select with control, click and select the shape, and then I can just mask. Ha ha! So now I have my little gal uh, here in a little Polaroid image, which is cool. I think I have maybe two or three minutes left. Um, when did Animal uh, Crossing get so popular, by the way? I think it's always been pretty darn popular. Um, it's just, uh, I think it's it's kind of, um, it, it's it's got a brand new game that came out less than a year ago, so a lot of people are kind of freaking out about it. Um, and this is our first Halloween with Animal Crossing New Horizons, so it's, it's kind of fun to see all the Halloween stuff coming out. Um, so we've got that, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to write something here, and I think I'm going to right um hashtag spooky cute because she is spooky cute and i'm going to select um i think maybe a handwriting kind of font something like this um hashtag spooky cute let's do like a capital s um, and then i'm gonna grab let's see let's make this a dark purple color or a light purple nah dark purple or dark, dark purple. Um, and I can add a little more detail to this um, if I decide that I want to later on, but that is kind of how I would go about creating a really cute Halloween themed Animal Crossing uh, image. And you guys can create these too. If you didn't already, please download the character building blocks file that I created for you down below um, in the uh, description of the video. Um, if you're over on YouTube, please head to Behance because that is where um, the link for everything will be. Um, I had a 
lot of fun. I hope that you folks, if you create these, you will send them to me on Twitter and Instagram so that I could see them because I really want to see what kind of uh, characters you created. Um, and you're welcome to do this and encouraged to do this even if you are not um, a fan of Animal Crossing. It can still be fun to create a little spooky Halloween character um, for this. So thank you all so much for joining me for the um, draw along. I'm very happy I got to um, hang out with you and do this today. Um, you are all fabulous and wonderful and I will see you another time. Adios everyone.